Them. We've had a lot of these conversations recently. We had recently a situation where somebody was literally copying the entire image of Shy Lily pretending to talk like Shy Lily, tweeting like Shy Lily, and getting a design that's literally the same shading, the same silhouette as Shy Lily. Now we have another scenario here that I was never told about or never seen before. Another indie VTuber has had his model stolen and sold. Now, this sounds like an awful situation, and this must really suck. Like, this is awful. I don't even know who does this. This is insane. But before we get into this topic, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like this video. Like the video. It takes like one second. Please like it. Please like it. And also sub to the channel if you enjoy these kind of videos. Now, let's get into the topic. This is going to be interesting. And sold. Yeah, and sold. Subscribe to see the next one. But with that said... Let's go ahead and jump into it. Plagiarism! Mm, it's fun, fun, isn't it? It's we not, love it. it. It's actually the worst. But unfortunately, it is, it is a very common part of it is. the VTubing scene, it seems. It is. It seems like there's you will go this side here. What is it called again? I don't remember. Fiverr. You will go to Fiverr, and you will go and see an artist, and they say they, they made Vox model. They made Shy Lily's model. They made Vey's model. You will see people <laughs> pretend like they made the models of the biggest VTuber out there. It is crazy. Always some incident, uh, incident of some VTuber getting I joined because your VTuber model is answered. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Much that we could do to stop it. Feeling credit, yeah. But the most we can do is always just kind of stamp it out when we. Let me read this. I was looking through Etsy at people taking v VTuber model commissions and. Am I dumb or is this a Kishin Shinobi face on top of a body as a VTuber common review? See it crop up. And that's what Niyumi here is doing. Oh. So they tweet out saying, I was looking through Etsy at people taking VTuber models. So you see what happened is that they took his entire model and drew like new clothes on it and sold it. That's what they did. Now, how did they get the model and rig it? I don't know. Am I dumb? Or is this not Kishin Shinobi's face on top of a body VTuber com review? And yeah, so we see here from, from this individual just basically saying like, oh, it turned out better than I could have expected. I, I just got to say this. I know this is completely unrelated. But I looked at this thing here and I know this is like some kind of, I think this is like a, a blanket or something. I thought this was his hands. I thought this was his fingers. I thought he had like the wildest fingers just popping off. No, no, disrespect to Word of YouTube. Uh, first time I'm watching him, I just did my brain just a little cooked today. Holy. And yeah, it's just stolen. <laughs> thought it was worth of, of of Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're a little bit cooked today. <laughs> weird. And on top of that, if you look at the background, it might be AI art, just judging off the background. It's a whole thing. And uh, so Keishin saw this and um, th they were they were not too pleased. Keishin would respond with a tweet saying, why am I running into bullshit copies of me? Y'all can't say that this shit ain't traced with this very classic meme. Kiss me through the phone. He copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, you tell him, word for word, bar for bar. Oh. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, the, the meme is very appropriate because, yeah, if, if you take that's a look disgusting. at the model sheet that is for awful. Kishin, like, yeah, that's, like, like especially when you see the actual face, like, his actual model, it is just the same model. Like, he, he was traced, essentially. And for anybody doubting me, this is Kishin's, like, model up close. The the eyes, the the nose, the face, like, come on now. That, that's... That... I'm gonna be real with you. I remember the, the, the fucking, the motherfucker sitting there telling me that Shy Lily copy was not a completely rip off of Shy Lily. I bet if you show this image to them, they would say the same thing. This ain't Trace. This isn't, this is not, this, I can see differences. And you know what is funny about that? Is that you can see this and you can think to yourself, this is Trace, this is a copy. But there are people out there that will argue and be disingenuous and think to themselves, nah, nah, this is different on this part, that part, blah, blah, blah. The hair is a little bit different. This is not trace. They look alike, but it's it's different lighting. Uh, you, you know, they, they, there's something. Uh, people will always find an excuse and it does suck. And that's why it's kind of like, uh, what I'm trying to say is that the artist that made this probably will get away with it and nothing will happen at all. The headband. There's practically no di major differences. 
There aren't, but some people will make some excuses and think to themselves there are small differences because they will look at the hair like the hair is going out like this, but the hair is more like closed up, you know? That, that's ridiculous. By the way, if you're not following Keishin, uh, I didn't really know about them until I saw this, but I've seen uh, him before. I will definitely Never be watched following his content, though. Like if you scroll through and you look through not only just the sheer amount of memes, uh, but also just it like was, the, it was. the clips shown, like very talented dude. It's mm -hmm. unfortunate that they have to deal with such that is, nonsense like that. It is an awful feeling to deal with this because you it's like it's your work, it's your child, it's your image. And somebody's just completely copying it. It's very disgusting feeling. And I don't know how he's feeling right now, but I bet he doesn't like it at all. It probably but, bothers um, him a lot. Also, their model artist, their model mama would tweet out saying, uh, love, uh, love Mura would tweet out saying, what did they do to my son, bro? <laughs> and yeah, it, it's not looking good uh, for the uh, for the particular etsy uh shop but i will say that they did actually respond so l uh this is the person who uh made this model said i had a lot to learn before uh i had a lot to learn before accepting the commission i think the references given by the client are their own such as their original character slash fan art turns out they belong to someone else so basically just them saying, like, um, I was trying, you know, like, I, I had a lot to learn uh, about this particular model. Uh, I looked at the... the I want to see this model move. The references that were given to me. And or maybe they just the art, only art. So it feels like, so as far as I'm aware, they're, they're trying to say that, like, they're, the, the model, like, references that they were given, uh, they, they assume that they could just, like, use that as like okay like i'm just going to like essentially not trace but like basically use this i don't know if tracing was involved it sure looks that way but i, I, I know i've noticed this as well like i don't know like it depends on the artist but i remember i commissioned one artist once for an emote and i gave them an example emote and i was like i wanted something like this and he, they literally traced the emote that's all they did i didn't commission them again that's all i can say so sometimes artists do actually just see an example and take that, think that, oh, I should do exactly the same thing. Like nobody else could do, just go into Photoshop and trace anything. It requires no skill to trace anything. I want to say that and be wrong, you know, like I'm just saying like it looks that you want way. Gonna move like that one Allegedly, VTuber concert. <laughs> all that fun legal jargon, but yeah, and... like it does seem as though they were given <laughs> references that they assumed was their own, but actually belonged to Kishin and, and Love Mora. So it's it's definitely a situation that that really sucks. Um, like this is one where I do feel like as the artist, uh, there is a responsibility to double check with the client that the material given is in fact theirs and not copied. Um, but they just kind of went off the trust system, I guess, uh, if what they're saying is true. And the client basically just handing somebody else's character sheet, not cool, like at all um it might it honestly it just looks like they just sent them straight up Keishin's model it's not a good look um it's in fact a very horrible awful look and i am very annoyed that this keeps happening that we have to keep having this conversation of like vtuber models being traced it's a whole mess um 30 dollars for models so wild I, I this don't is know. probably ai i'm gonna be real this is probably ai and that's it. It's just it doesn't take that much effort and time. If you have this just set up as AI, it doesn't take that much time to make this. And that's just like 30 bucks for like one minute of work. Oh, who the dude is. Uh, I did try to look him up and like, like I did try to look the client up. Nothing really came up. Um, so I don't know, but it's not a good look. It's, it's a bad look for, for, for uh, the artist and a bad look for the client. And uh, hopefully this model just kind of stops here and hopefully the client realizes what they did um and for the artist so what you should do is that we should not yap about this we can call it out etc but what they should do is that the vtuber model, mama or the um, the vtuber itself should tell send a message to fiverr and inform them about their copyright infringement on this situation right here this artist here is stealing my my copyrighted content and literally selling it to other people and there you have it they will be banned and then you will have it like it registered in their system that they, there are people out there that might trace this kind of thing in it will be registered and won't be an issue in the future this is what you should do uh just contact fiverr
just hopefully this is a lesson to not just you know take stuff because like the fiverr the thing is i would fiverr is that you need to also register personal information to be a seller uh, so whenever you're doing all of this and you get banned from fiverr you will not get back into it value going in the future uh, going forward into the future because they, they are a very prominent uh etsy shop from what i saw oh this is etsy never mind etsy right, there a lot of reviews i assume etsy work exactly the same as fiverr there's a lot of like and they're well reviewed so it's like one of those things where maybe this was just a one-off accident i don't know um i'm hoping that it's a one-off accident but again with the background plus like the the copying of the model i i don't know i'm concerned basically like it, it's one of those things where i would need to see some very serious like apology and some forward momentum um on that apology i, I don't, don't know about apology like i don't think apology is necessarily needed because this is like uh this is a, a legal situation this is not about you can talk about controversy people always look at things like this and they're like this is uh this is a controversy this is drama this is that and that but like people forget that these things are straight up illegal this is copyrighted content we're dealing with here you're trying to resell it uh, and sell things like you have the right of advertising it or using it at all like this is this is not this is a different case uh you should just talk to the seller figure it out and just get rid of it or talk to etsy the etsy support no let me know what you guys think. like you you could you could be sued for this like i don't know this situation is very very awkward to say the least and again i feel bad that kishin and lovemura and everybody had to deal with like the artist mama and the vtuber had to deal with this at all because yeah since it, it, those models are sold with a license yeah exactly you need to think about it that way as well it's always awkward and it always sucks uh so yeah that, that's a huge bummer i think it's just it's interesting that this came so soon after uh the Shia Shia Lily stuff? Thing, yeah where that one VTuber yeah. was basically straight up copying Shia true. Lily, but trying to say like oh no true it's not copying we all need to just stop copying each other true <laughs> that's like make uh, your like own motifs. shit and things brother, like that. I spent like, brother, I, you insult my design. I'm a, I'm a not give a shit, but like, um, uh, I, I spent a long time to make what is fitting for myself. What is me? What is what I want to be as a VTuber, right? I spent a long time just having an ID and redesigning it multiple times. Everybody, when you want to be a VTuber, if you want to jump in the field, if you want to do your own, like become a content creator within the VTuber space you want to create something you can look at and never regret you want to look at something that is you that is your design that you're happy to be that you're happy to represent you because like that is the whole point you can be whatever you want you can be whatever you want in this field you can be a bag you can be a doll you can be a man with a very hairy chest. You can be whatever you want. Like you can do whatever the hell you want. And I think that this is important that people should create a design and create something that is more fitting for them. Now, is it easier and cheaper just to steal someone else's design? Yes, it is. Will it get you in the industry and make something out of it? No, no, not really. This is a industry of where you are a public figure in a space where there are other public figures and your reputation is very important you could look at it and say bad press is good press but that's not enough actually true like i still think in some i personally think and seen as a personal individual i look at bad press and i can see things that they are profitable you see this shy lady thing the the individual that the shy lady thing is doing great and way better than she would do if she made her own design so i see that controversy is sometimes useful but i also have friends like yeah, i have a friend called asmongold and i have some other friends within twitch uh, twitch streamers that are pretty big and, and they have a better understanding about these kind of situations than me because they've been in the field for so long they are pretty big and i can they've like they've said many times that these things do actually hurt them in the long run or on many ways you don't really realize or know as a as an audience as a viewer so uh, I don't think these things are good for you. And I, I think you wouldn't be respected and also just generally respect yourself and, and respect the craft you're creating if you don't make something you feel good with. People need some originality with design. And agree, I agree. I've seen, some pe be, I've seen someone be paper. You can be literally anything. Yeah. That is the beauty of V2B. You can be anything. So go be anything. 
Now, if you enjoyed this video or if you have any thoughts, feel free to tell me in the comments. Also, like this video. I would really appreciate it if you took a second to like this video. If you enjoy these kind of reaction and discussion video, feel free to sub to the channel. And also, if you want to join chat over there and hang out and yap, I know chat is a little bit quiet. This because everybody is making fan art. That's right. That's what they're doing. <laughs> they, uh, you're, you're free to come by my Twitch channel on twitch.tv slash Adley. Other than that, y'all have a great one. Enjoy yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>